Hey everybody, Bobby here from Universe Retro, and this episode is going to be a little different than what we normally do here on the channel. This episode is going to kick off a short limited series covering the films of director, writer, actor, Brian Paul N. Recently I was recommended one of Brian's films and absolutely dug it, thus sending me down the Paul N rabbit hole and sparking this limited series. Before we go right into the first episode, I think it's only fitting to tell a little bit about the man behind the films. Brian Paul N is a director, writer, and actor behind several popular cult flicks. Known for his extreme realistic gore, he's established quite a reputation for himself in the underground horror community. Not content with just directing, writing, and acting, Brian also has credits for editing, cinematography, composing, and more. Brian is the guy behind numerous popular flicks, but the ones we're going to cover on this limited series are Bone Sickness, Fetus, Blood Pigs, Morbid Tales, which is a collection of the first three short films by Paul N, and finally Cryptic Plasm, which we're going to cover on this inaugural episode. A few weeks ago I received a glowing recommendation to check out the flicks of Brian Paul N, and more specifically Cryptic Plaza. So I decided to look online and see what the praise was all about. Upon searching I came across several films made by Brian and decided to start with Cryptic Plaza first, based on the intriguing synopsis. Watching the trailer I figured I was getting into a low budget gore fest, with very little on the story and acting and more involved with how many gallons of blood they could throw at the screen. Let me first tell you how wrong I was. Despite a snippet of a little bit of gore at the beginning, the first half of the film really goes by without any gore. It actually sets up a really engrossing story with some very believable acting. I really enjoyed the story of a couple of guys just filming pilot episodes about cryptozoology and local legends for a proposed show. Maybe it hit kind of home because that's kind of what my buddy Tim and I have been doing here with Universe Retro lately. Regardless, it felt real and genuine something that lower budget films typically lack. Throughout the film, Paul N manages to build dread and suspense and it kept my eyes glued on the screen while these guys investigated weird occurrences in an abandoned town. Not content with just this amazing story, Paul N takes it further and introduces different dimensions, wormholes, and even Lovecraftian style elements to the story, making this low budget film seem really big in scale. It's once again a level of grandeur that goes well beyond budgetary constraints. Now to the part that's obviously the centerpiece of this film and from what I hear, his other films, and that's the gore. There are buckets and buckets of blood and ooze. Slime is everywhere. Skulls, smashed heads, and ripped open chests. There's entire sequences of anatomy just being decimated and it's very well done. I don't want to say too much, but there's even a giant monster that's totally practical and a beauty to behold. If you want gore, you get it here by leaps and bounds. Despite this film being praised for its gore, as it should be, I actually enjoyed this movie more for the story and the acting. I would have loved to see more from the duo in the film, with them investigating other weird occurrences. It was such a good story that I really hope people praise it just as much as the impressive gore. I love Cryptic Plaza. Is it for everyone? Not at all. Would I recommend it to everyone? Once again, probably not at all. But if you enjoy extreme practical gore and really want to enjoy a really intriguing story, I cannot recommend this film enough. I cannot believe what I just watched. I'm blown away right now. 